All right, guys, quick update. Been working on it, cleaning out all the grime. Today I got it pretty good. About 30 minutes of cleaning, a little longer probably. Got all the junk cleaned out of it. Got the case here cut down and ground to the profile of the case saver. Got it pretty clean. Up in here in these grates, it was literally like a quarter of an inch of pure just grease and grime all packed up in there. Now I'm gonna pull the clutch cover off, get that ready to be painted. Already got the screws out of that. Got the reeds off, got the boost bottle off. And just time to clean up side covers. You know, it's crazy that the how similar the RD three fifty motor and the Banshee motor are. Like that's the RD, that's a I wanna believe it's early nineteen seventies. And this one is a 98, I believe. I'd say it's mid 1970s. Mid 1970s. Either way, over 25 years old. And I mean, really the only difference is where the liquid cooled is and there's a gear for the water pump. Other than that, there's not much difference. Like, um, the side cover even fits on it. This table of parts right here brings me more joy. And I'm sure anyone who's into this kind of stuff will agree with me. But to see the Yamaha Banshee 350 twin liquid cooled and the RD twin air cooled next to each other is amazing. And then the pipes, you can see the difference here. The Banshee pipes are pretty gnarly and the RD pipes are cool in their own right. But here's a couple different projects here that are about to be wrapped up. Got this RD gas tank. It, Kind of breaks my heart that this gas tank's perfect and I have to sand it down and paint it to change the color, but whatever.